All right, well, I'm still working with the Romero UK uh, Mueller Dynamo. And uh, today uh, I thought I'd post a video to show where I'm at. I'm still doing testing on a testing unit. It's not the uh, real deal. It's something I've, I'm using to test. But today was the first day that I got, uh, I got a back return loop going into a capacitor run unit. I don't think I've ever done that before. Where I, I, I got it to do that. Usually it stalls the motor. It won't do it. But uh, this one here is doing it. Now I only have partial amount of the coils on this, so I'm not getting the full amount of energy coming out of it. But I'm using the bridge rectifiers. And I even tried the one where Romero said to put the extra dials around it, and that seemed to help. But I'm coming right off the back end of this, right into the front end. There's my voltage on the capacitor, and uh, I charged it up with those two batteries, and then I just disconnected it, and uh, it's running. Now, this will drop down as I go through this video, and I'll show you what the, the ending voltage is as I go through it. But this is another testing unit that I built up here. Um, it's a real simple one with cheap parts, because I didn't want to spend a lot of money until I knew what I was doing. And I just uh, took this uh, CD stuff here. And that made a pretty darn good rotor. If you can find a good spindle for the middle of it here, it's pretty thick and pretty sturdy. Then just use the CDs uh, to hold the coils. And uh, I haven't filled up all the coils yet, but I was testing the ratio of magnets to coils. This was my first setup, which was five magnets, four coils. And uh, this was more like the Mueller ratio. And uh, that's what I did my preliminary testing with. And then I flipped over to the a Romero ratio, which was uh, eight magnets and nine coil pairs. And there's the diagram that was posted. Uh, I believe it's ground loops diagram. And then I pull this off of Rod's posting here. And um, one of the things I did want to show here was I'm putting up the tensiometer right here to control the speed and the power. And I don't know why other guys aren't doing that, but uh, I don't want this to over rev and throw a magnet. So I've got a pot there to help it. Then I'm also I'm coming, instead of this way, with the diode, I put an LED across here. And that's what that is right there. And that lets me see how it's firing. And uh, I don't know whether that's good or bad, but it's working. But anyway, I just wanted to um, let people know where I'm at right now, is that uh, at least I'm, I'm working with a, another testing unit here. I haven't got all the coils on it, and it's not right. But at least I've got a return loop now and this is uh, the bridge rectifiers and that one there is the one where Romero took the uh, extra diodes and put them around the bridge rectifier and it does help so if you want to just get a regular Radio Shack uh, bridge rectifier and add four one in four oh oh one diodes around it uh, it helps it so anyway that's my little uh, return uh, closed loop system running on its own and uh, like I say, this is one of the first times I've been able to close the loop on a, on a motor and bring the return back into it and keep it running. And there's the voltage now on this right now after I've given this video. You see how it's dropped down. And it's a 20, uh, 20 farad 2.7 volt cap is what that is that's running this. And I charge it up with a couple of double A's. Anyway, that's where I'm at with this little project. Um, I've ordered some of the parts for the real deal, but I'm still not convinced this is ever going to work. It's been a lot of fun, though. Thanks for watching.